Hey guys, it's Chantrinas and I am back with another video. So this is gonna be my date night drugstore makeup tutorial. And I asked you guys on Instagram which look you would prefer, either my Cheshire Cat or my date night drugstore. And almost all of you guys wanted me to do the drugstore date night makeup, so that's what I'm doing today. I went in with my favorite eyebrow pencil. This is from Wet n Wild. And I actually got a color lighter than what I usually get. I accidentally got the mink brown. But that's okay, I ended up going in with some um, e.l.f. gel liner just to kind of darken them up a little bit. I do like some dark, bold eyebrows. And I'm gonna kind of speed through this because I have so many different eyebrow tutorials on YouTube, on my channel. So if you wanna see a more in-depth video, then just go click to my description box. I'll leave a link down there for that. But yeah, this is gonna be kind of like a speedy brow. Next, I'm color correcting with my LA Girl Pro Concealer. This is the shade Orange. And you guys know I use this literally every time I do my makeup. And I'm gonna blend that out with my um, Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. And it kind of took away too much of the orange, so I decided to put a little bit more on there and then blend that out. Next, I'm going in with my LA Girl Pro Coverage Foundation, and this is in the shade Coffee. It's just a really inexpensive HD foundation that I love. This color matches perfectly with my skin. I don't have to mix it with anything. It just goes on so nicely, and it's full coverage, and I just, I'm in love with this, you guys. If you haven't tried it yet, I would highly recommend it. So this is the Sonic Blend by Michael Todd Beauty. It is the world's first antimicrobial sonic makeup brush. And I got this from my job. It was gratis. Um, I work at a makeup store and we sometimes get gratis and this is kind of something that I got recently. And it's just a makeup brush that vibrates or it kind of rotates. It doesn't even rotate, it just kind of like vibrates. And I just wanted to use it for the first time on camera for you guys. I, I don't know if I like it yet. Um, I mean, it works but I can get the same effects by using just a regular makeup brush. I don't really see the point in using something that vibrates. I feel like it didn't really make any difference. Um, I mean, it moved the makeup around my face. The vibration was weird. I, I don't recommend it, honestly. And then I had to go back in with my beauty blender because I feel like I didn't get in all the nooks and crannies of my face. I feel like I missed a lot of areas because the brush head was kind of big. And yeah, those are, those are just my two cents. Next, I'm going in with my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. I feel like this heavily resembles the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer, and this one is like $30 cheaper. So, I mean, if you haven't tried out this one yet, I would highly, highly recommend it. It's really nice. And since I like full coverage, I'm gonna be using this one, and I'm also gonna use my LA Girl Pro Concealer, the same one that I use for my eyebrows, and um, kind of just highlight a little bit more on my face. Uh, mainly because I just like to wear a lot of makeup and if you don't like to wear a lot of makeup You don't have to do this part. I just like the extra coverage to get rid of any under eye bags um, It also helps the makeup look better in my opinion. So if you don't like it, don't do it But this is this is what I like so I'm gonna do it And then of course blending that out with my real techniques beauty sponge and this is like five bucks um, also from the drugstore it's just really nice. It's I love the sponge. I'll continue to buy more of them. It's like it's like ten dollars for a two pack. How can you beat that? You can't. It's amazing. And I'm going in with my Maybelline Fit Me powder, and this is in the color medium. I actually got put onto this by Destiny Lachey. I think that's her name on YouTube. I was looking for other drugstore products to try out and this actually works pretty good. So this is like five bucks. Um, I only use it to highlight. I don't use it for anything else. I wouldn't use this all over the face. I just wanted to use it to highlight. And this is the part where I forgot to put on my contour first before I put my setting powder on. So I'm just gonna try to add in some contour there. And the cream contour I'm gonna be using is the Ruby Kisses Face Creator in the darkest shade they have. I think it's like level 18 or something.
And then I'm gonna continue to set my face wherever I need it to or wherever it's too shiny. I'm gonna be using the NYX Fire Palette. It's so pretty, you guys. It's perfect for fall. I'm going in with that red color right there. And it's super pretty, easy to blend. And I forgot to point this out while I was showing the palette, but I'm gonna be taking this brown shade in the top right corner, the first shade at the top right, and using that in my crease and just blending that out. Next, I'm taking this really pretty maroon color and using that on the inner and outer corners of my eye. I'm also going to blend out in the same kind of pattern as I did on my eye. So I'm going in with the red and then I'm going in with the lighter brown and then the maroon color underneath my eye to kind of smoke it out a little bit. Next, I'm taking Crown of My Canopy from One Wild. It's one of their gorgeous highlighters and using that on the center of my eyelid. And this color is super pretty, you guys. It's really great. It's a um, like a rose gold. And then I'm gonna blend that out with the maroon color that I used earlier. And the second Wet n Wild highlighter that I'm using is called Precious Petals. And I have been on the hunt for this thing for a long time, and I'm so glad I was able to finally grab it. So I'm gonna blend out all the excess powder on my face and then go in with that really pretty brown color that I used in my crease and use that to kind of sculpt my face. So eyeshadows I feel like you can use all over the face. I'm gonna be using that to kind of carve out these cheekbones a little bit more and use it as a blush, blush slash contour, I guess. Next, I'm taking my NYX Club Hopper lip pencil, and this is just like a really pretty maroon lip pencil. And using that to outline my lips, and going in with my NYX Sandstorm liquid lipstick. This is one of their liquid, or what is it called? Their suede liquid lipsticks. They're really nice, really creamy. They go on super liquidy, and then once they dry down, they dry down to a matte finish. And going back in with my Precious Petals from Wet n Wild and using that as an actual highlighter on my face. You guys, I was not ready. Like, I didn't think the hype was real, but like, as you can see from my reaction, I believe it now. Like, <laughs> this stuff is amazing. And I think it was only like $5. I'm so glad I was able to find this highlighter because I've been looking for it for a while. And then I'm gonna set my face with my Mario Badescu setting spray. And the hair that I'm wearing is from Chalk Hair. If you follow me on Instagram, you already know, um, but this hair is really, really pretty. It's their kinky straight hair and I have in three bundles and a frontal. So this is hair that I've already curled. I'm so sorry that I didn't film me curling my hair um, before, but I didn't think you guys would be that interested in my hair, but you guys really liked it on Instagram, so I decided to put these clips in as well. This is what the curls look like after I've taken them down. And I'm just gonna use my brush to kind of brush them out in the way that I would like them to go, as you can see here. And that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave me a comment, let me know what you think. If you have any other ideas for makeup or any other videos, please let me know. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.